What's going on, people? I would like to welcome all of you to another Q on One edition of the Talk to Q Radio Show. My name is Quincy, and this is my show. And with the Q on Ones, what I like to do is interview people. Sometimes they can be local entrepreneurs, or they could be someone um, who's doing their thing worldwide. Um, so it's an opportunity for you to get to know these people up and close and learn their story and what gave them the passion to do what they do or provide the type of service they provide. So please sit back and enjoy the show. And please be encouraged to share. A lot of people, including myself, kind of do their thing by word of mouth, you know. So the more you spread the knowledge about the show, then the more people who can tune in and grow this thing and make it bigger. And it also gives more support for the people who I bring on the show who are looking to get their product or services out to the masses. Without further ado, let's get to the interview. What's going on, people? I want to thank you for taking the time to join this Q on one edition of the Talk to Q radio show. And my guest has her own and online interactive talk show known as the Knickknack Show. She is from the Windy City. Please welcome Miss Nikki Nache to the Talk to Q radio show. Nikki, how's it going? It is going well. Uh, I am very grateful that you have me on today. Um, I hope everyone that is listening is blessed and I'm excited to be here. Hey, y'all. All right. Well, you know, thank you for taking the time and shout out to my boy, Raphael Tommy of the Can You Blame Me podcast for uh, sending you my way. I appreciate that. So can you tell my audience what the Knickknack Show is all about? So the Nick and Act show is uh, about having that that feel good feeling. It's about motivating you and encouraging you to, you know, feel like you can conquer the rest of your day. Um, we address entertaining and juicy topics that we can all relate to because we all go th- through the same things. Uh, we just look different. And um, I also bring on special guests and I interview them and I provide a platform for everyone to be able to interact and network um, because, you know, teamwork makes the dream work, so. Okay, so what was your inspiration for the show? So my inspiration for the show was, I actually started out being a motivational speaker when I was 18. Uh, I was seeing a therapist at the time and she told me that, you know, my story should be heard. So I began speaking to young women and it escalated. Like I transitioned to YouTube videos and, you know, didn't have much success with that. And my nine-year-old, who will be 10 next month, actually recommended that I try streaming. And then, you know, I started streaming and then people were coming into my stream and they were like, you know, this is kind of like a talk show. And I was like, you know what? It kind of is. So I took it and ran with it. And here we are six months later. All right. So, I mean, what was the biggest obstacle for you to get started with the Knickknack show? Was it the, the streaming process? Were there other things? Um, it was basically the the platform that I had decided to start my talk show on because a lot of people look at the Beat Me app as a dating platform. And mm-hmm. um, a lot of people do use it for that reason. But, you know, um, I use it to, to host my talk show. So a lot of people didn't take me serious at first. Um, and, and, and it's always that way with a lot of entrepreneurs. People don't really take you serious until they see that you're actually persistent with it. So All right. Now, you really grind when it comes to your show. I mean, you're six months in, by the way, so congratulations on that. But how in the world do you maintain that type of pace, Nikki? Because you're over, what, 100 shows? Yeah, uh-huh. Yeah, I'm over 100 shows. Um, I think it's because, uh, you know, I, I don't recommend anyone to do what I did. <laughs> but I, I, did, <laughs> I did quit my job to, to full-time uh, pursue this. Wow. Because this uh, this really means a, a lot to me, and I believe in it. So, yeah. Um, yeah, Monday through Friday, 2 to 4 p.m. Central Standard Time. Um, I'm at it. And I mean, it's been paying off, you know. So Rome isn't built overnight. Edges don't grow overnight. So, you know. Like. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't ready for that one. <laughs> All right. So who are some of the guests that you've had on? Because I do recall seeing uh, the little guy, Josiah Young, from the Netflix series Raising Dion. And mm-hmm. First of all, he had so much energy. He was so excited to be on the show with you. But who are some of the people that you've had on? Yeah, Josiah Young was a very fun interview. I also had uh, Sammy Haney, who plays Esperanza in Raising Dion. I also had Mm -hmm. Michelle, who plays Rashad on Raising Dion. I also had Lonnie Edwards. 
Um, he was named the filmmaker of the moment by New City Magazine. Um, I had an interview with uh, the comedian man. Uh, that's what, what he goes by. Um, and he just <laughs> got signed to Cartoon Network. He is like a he nice. calls himself the voiceover king. So so that's awesome. Um, and I had Smokey the Bandit. He's actually um, from my hometown. So I felt like that that was nice, you know what I'm saying, to give him that exposure. Um just a, a a lot of interesting, cool people who are really talented. Yeah, that's the beauty of doing this type of job is um, you encounter so many people mm -hmm. and a lot of talented people on top of that. Mm -hmm. So, all right, but look, tell us a little bit about yourself. What do you like to do? What is Nikki Nache like? So, let's see. I like to work out. Um, I like to keep fit. I feel like it uh, clears my mind. I feel like it keeps me um, energized and gives me enough stamina to keep up with my soon-be 10-year-old. Um, I like to hang out with my 10-year-old. He and I like to go and ride our bikes. We like to go get ice cream. Um, I also like to, you know, like I, I'm a very, like I'm a conversationalist. I like to be social, but I'm also... Um, I feel like my talk show works for me because I have that screen between me and other people. Like, like I'm extroverted, but I'm introverted as well. Mm -hmm. So like, I just, um, yeah, like, <laughs> I got you. I got yeah. you. And if you have a 10 year old, then you definitely need a lot of energy to keep up with. Them. Yeah. So, okay. What I was going to say was I don't really like to go out. I'm not like a bar kind of person. I don't like to be in clubs, but I like to have my friends over and like bartend for them. And then we can, we can play games around the house, but you know, so I'm really okay. like that. See, body. I'm actually trying to get into bartending a little more. I consider myself a very low budget bartender. <laughs> um, so if you have any recipes for something nice that you want to, you know, send over to your boy, please feel free because okay. I need some help. Okay. <laughs> I got All right. you. <laughs> All right. So you participated in your first music video recently and congratulations on that as well. What was the experience like? And is it something that you'll do more of going forward? Yes. So um, the artist that I participated in his music video, um, his name is The Real Sound Guy Mike on Instagram. And um, it was a really fun experience. Uh, he wanted me to come on and be the, the main girl in the video because I am a black woman. And, you know, in, in 2020, I feel like it's, it's important to, you know, give young black people or, or, or women or just just people in general like hey like you're important hey you're you're beautiful hey you matter like let's put you in the spotlight and give you you know some attention I feel like that's really important in 2020 and um, I'm not a video girl um, but I feel like you don't really know how you're gonna get your big break in this industry so um, I'm willing to take on all types of opportunities and uh, look past my fear because it was it was it was scary I was nervous you know so yeah I, I think you did fine. I mean, you know, you were vibing. You had your head nodding to the music. Yeah. <laughs> and um, it was a very fun video. I like seeing the guys do the stunts on the motorcycles. Mm -hmm. That's cool. You know, that's something yeah. DMX started back in the day. So, and you were just sitting there doing your thing. And it was yeah. a very nice, classy video. So mm -hmm. I thought it was it was pretty cool. And it's always good to see chocolate out front, you know, yeah. like you said. In, in 2020, I, I mean, we really need that representation for sure. Yes. yes. So. All right, so we'll get ready to wrap things up, but you're six months in on what seems to be a thrill ride so far. What, I mean, well, where do you want to see the Nick Knack show go within the next six months? What can we look forward to in the future? Um, so within the next, uh, like, upcoming, you can expect to see me continuing to work hard, continuing to, uh, you know, share my platform and and not be a crab in a barrel and network with other people and bring them on so that everyone can network and work together and reach a, a common goal. And I want to really have my talk show in a live studio, uh, but with COVID, that that is kind of difficult. But um, you can expect me to remain humble and to continue to trust in God because I feel like I'm only seeing as much success as I've been seeing so far. It's because of him, definitely because of him. So. All right. That's what's up. So let my people know how they can connect with you on social media and where they can find your show. Okay. So you guys can follow me on Instagram at knickknack talk show host. Um, it's spelled N I C N A C and my talk show, the knickknack show is hosted on the meet me app. So you'd have to download the meet me app and favorite my account. And I'm live Monday through Friday, two to 4 PM central standard time. And that would be three to 5 PM Eastern standard time. 
Um, to get my Snapchat now, you just gotta follow me on Instagram. <laughs> get to see the behind the scenes. <laughs> All right. Well, I'll be sure to list the link to all of that stuff on my um, website at the Talk to Q radio show um, website, talktoq.com. And so they'll have easy access. But uh, I do want to, I do appreciate you taking the time to come on the show and join this Q on one broadcast. And I hope we can do it again in the future. Yes. And I look, ha- I look forward to having you on my show. So, so hey, you let me know and I will be there. It'll be a pleasure. Thank you for having me. All right. Thanks a lot, Nikki.